We've talked about programming in general, and I've talked to you about the idea that it's programming code, and code has logic and, and, um, and calculations, etc. Now I want to focus on a sort of a different aspect. There are different programs running in different places. And not only within a program is there a lot of interaction, but a full system consists of lots of different applications all running together to create the overall system. So let's look at some of the places where that runs. We're going to focus on web information systems. And so all programming code runs on a computer somewhere. So somewhere there's a computer. Now we have the computers like this one, right, that are full-blown computers. And then we have computers that are embedded inside of all sorts of things. Like my camera has an embedded computer. And even my watch has a little embedded computer. Um, and all sorts of devices have embedded computers. And each of those computers, those processors, are what run the programs. So anywhere there's a, pro a computer, there's a, there's a processor. Anywhere there's a processor, there's programs running on that processor. So in a web information system, we can simplify things. It's not you know, all sorts of different processors all over the place. It's not in your refrigerator, your toaster, or anything like that. It's a few very specific places. In particular, there's a server. There's a web server. The web server is a computer. The computer has a processor. The processor runs code. The processor, uh, the processor on the server computer runs what's called the server application. That's the thing that's responsible for creating websites. But it also runs the particular application. So Facebook, for example, runs on a set of servers. Those servers all have operating systems and they all have server software that allows them to be servers. But they also have the Facebook application running on them. Facebook itself is code that's running on that server. Okay, so it's kind of complicated. The server is a computer. The server has lots of programs running simultaneously on it. The one that we'll mostly focus on is the one that was written by Facebook, but that server computer has lots of other programs running on it. In particular, it has an operating system running on it. It has server software running on it. Similarly, on your computer, you have a browser running. The browser is a piece of software. The browser is a place where programming happens. Someone wrote that browser, right? The people at Firefox or the people at Google wrote um, Chrome or the people at Microsoft wrote Internet Explorer. That's an application itself. That's a program. That's code that's running. So lots of different interacting programs on the server, lots of different interacting programs on the br <coughs> excuse me, on your computer as well. And the browser is the main one that we're going to focus on. Now, the browser is an application, but inside the browser, we can also write code. You've probably heard about JavaScript. JavaScript is a very popular thing. A lot of people are into it these days. And JavaScript is programming code that runs inside the browser. The browser, in addition to being software, can also run software. Getting confused? Getting confused? Well, good, because it's a confusing world. The way to sort all this thing out is to say there's lots of programs. But every program, in the end, runs on a different computer. Maybe it's running on the server computer. Maybe it's running on your computer. And then inside of programs, programs allow other programs to run. The browser allows the JavaScript to run. The web server software allows the Facebook application that, say, is written in, I don't know, maybe it's written in PHP or C or something like that. Um, it allows that to run. OK, so the main thing to focus on is browsers and servers. And the main thing that really creates Facebook above and beyond anything else the computers can do is the code that Facebook wrote. The code that Facebook wrote runs inside the server system, and it runs inside the browser system. But the server system and the browser system are also software. So somebody programmed the browser, and then Facebook programmed, somebody created the browser by programming, and then Facebook created the JavaScript program that runs inside the browser. OK, lots of other places where programming happens, and we're not going to, um, I just want to mention them. I want to bring them up. So as I said, your program, um, which, is, uh, which is part of the web system, excuse me, your browser, which is part of the web system, runs as an application, and it's made out of programming code, and it runs on your computer. Your operating system also runs on your computer. And um, uh, the way to think about it is that your computer runs the operating system, your operating system runs the browser, and your browser runs the JavaScript code that creates Facebook or some other application inside the browser. Okay, So it's kind of like nested dolls inside of each other. Operating system at the highest level, and then the operating system hosts the browser. Browser hosts Facebook. And then finally, the internet itself that allows the server and the browser to communicate. 
that's hardware, but it's also a bunch of software, and there's software running all over the place. Routers that, that pass the messages back and forth all have processors and software running on them. There are all, all sorts of things, name servers, et cetera, et cetera, that all are running lots of different software. Don't want to go into that. Don't, you don't need to know about it, but I do want you to have this idea that there's programs everywhere, and the programs run inside of each other. And the main loop, really, to think about is the operating system runs the browser, the browser runs Facebook. Similarly on the server, the operating system runs the server, and the server runs Facebook code that Facebook has created in order to um, make their system.